Hey, what's up? Marty here. Guitarjams.com. Happy New Year uh, 2009. Let's make it a good one. I am here to teach, uh, you know, getting a lot of requests from beginners. Uh, obviously, the holiday season's over. People get new guitars and, you know, trying to learn this stuff. So I'm going to um, dedicate a few of the next videos to, uh, to the beginners out there. Um, this first one is TNT by ACDC. And uh, it's, uh, it's one that I show a lot of beginners on their first or second lesson. And I'm going to show it kind of the regular way. And then if that's too hard, like someone's got their guitar straight out of the box, I'll show you a cool thing that you can do to kind of like get your fingers on the guitar and moving it around and get it going. Okay, so here are the things that we need. Okay, the first thing that we need is called an E power chord. And I put my first finger, and I use the very tip of my finger, on the second fret of this second, oops, sorry, second string down, and then we also need this open E string. So when I play an E power chord, I'm going to strum this string and this string together like this. Okay, a lot of people have problems not hitting the other strings when they do it. Um, I don't want you to worry about it too much, just go for it, but I let my first finger lightly mute the other strings. Um, I'm not thinking about it though. If you're thinking too much about it, it's going to cause problems, but I just wanted to point that out. The other one we need is scooted over one, and it's the A power chord, and I strum these two strings. So those are the two chords that we need. We need this one, and we need this one. Okay, then the only other thing that we're going to need, and it's going to take a little coordination, is my middle finger in between chord switches is going to hit this third fret on the top string right here like this. That's it. So those are the three things that we need. All right, so the first thing we do is we hit the open E power chord. Then we take our middle finger and play this note by itself. And actually, I heard the rhythm. Like, it, you know, they're kind of strumming more than just that note, but I want to start with it this way. You'll hear it. It sounds great. So we go this one, then that note, then the A power chord. Watch that again. I'm going to move my pick down. Real bluesy sounding. And so notice the next thing I did was I, I muted, I stopped the ringing of the strings. Watch. Ah, see that? Something to think about. And then another mute. See that? One more time. One, two, here we go. See that? All right. Now there's a little lick with the middle finger, the A string, and then the middle finger again on the third fret. Okay, this is kind of called a turnaround lick. It goes like this. It hits this note, then an A power chord, and then that note again. Right back to the top. So watch this. Alright, here's the whole thing. I'm going to do it normal speed and then I'll do it slow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now here it is really slow.
you are able to play that, the chorus is a snap. Um, we start on the A power chord. Right there. T. N. T. Dynamite. Win the fight. Right. And then watch me explode. You'd go over to the A power chord. And then the superstar bends that G string up like this. There's a cool solo that's in the uh, minor pentatonic scale. It's pretty much the only. Uh, well, actually, he uses the major pentatonic also, but you know those scales are are crucial to know. Um, and then the only other thing is there's kind of a build up thing at the end, and it goes like this. There's a, you know, there's two guitar parts. I'll just show the build up real quick just for fun. It goes like this, and then a power chord on the first fret. speeds up and then when it gets to the eighth fret it's even faster all right uh, okay here's something for the super beginner guitars fresh out of the box you got a your fender squire uh, pack Guitar Center and you haven't even pulled the little plastic thing off anyway okay so here's what you can do and this is just good for a beginner so we hit the open E string here and then first finger on the third fret and then if you can get your ring finger on the fifth fret like that so watch this So we have the fret numbers, we have 0, which is open, 3, third fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 0, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 0, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 0, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 0, 3, 5. So, hopefully you got something from that, and uh, you know I want to hear from you. So go ahead and sign up over there, and send me your requests. I'm uh, definitely taking them.